humankind's tangled shop of ancestry has more branches than you think. The earliest of all the species to have existed was Homo luzonensis, a proof that previous human species made it to the Southeast Asia was when fossils of this species was found in Philippines. This small-bodied hominin named Homo luzonensis lived on the island of Luzon at least 50,000 to 67,000 years ago. The find shows that human evolution in the region may have been a highly complicated affair with three or more human species in the region at around the time our ancestors arrived. Homo luzonensis, locally called Ubag after a mythical caveman, is an extinct species of archaic human that lived in the Philippines during the late Pleistocene. This discovery makes Luzon the third Southeast Asian island in the last 15 years to bear signs of unexpectedly ancient human activity. The remains of teeth and phalanges are only known from Kalao Cave in 2007, found by Armand Salvador Mijares in the northern part of the island. Return trips yielded a femur bone and study of these finds revealed that the physical features are a mixture of those found in very ancient human ancestors and in more recent people. The teeth's small sizes and relatively simple shapes, for instance, point to a more modern individual. One upper premolar has three roots which is a trait found in fewer than 3% of modern humans and the feet phalanges resembles those of ancient Australopithecines. This is where Homo luzonensis flips the script and continues to challenge the outdated idea that the human ancestral line neatly progressed from less advanced to more advanced species. Even more, archaeologists didn't think that digging deep into Luzon would yield much because it seemed especially difficult for ancient hominins to reach, as it had never been connected to the mainland by land bridges. Most archaeologists would only excavate cave sites up to 2 meters, and they would stop but when they found evidence of older life, that's what really puzzled them. The main reason that inspired them to dig deeper was the find of Homo floresiensis, an ancient hominin that inhabited the Indonesian island of Flores. Standing between 3 to 4 feet tall, the brain size of the individuals of this species was the most similar to us with a size of about 1327 cubic centimeters. Now comparing them with Homo floresiensis, with more than one similarity between them and Homo floresiensis, the question arises if the ancient humans on Flores and those on Luzon are closely related, or are they separate species that have both succumbed to island dwarfism. Now as mentioned earlier, Luzon of the Philippines was never connected by a land bridge to the mainland. So it raises an immediate question as to how did they get there and was it intentional or not. Some researchers have suggested that other island hominins arrived afloat some kind of raft or rudimentary boat. Meanwhile, others argue that early hominins weren't clever enough for that and that it is more likely they arrived by chance, like for instance by getting swept away on tangles of mangroves during a tsunami. Whatever the answer is though, the bottom line is if Australopithecine-like species were able to reach Southeast Asia, this would change the way we think about who in our human family tree left Africa first. When it comes to topics on human species, there will always be questions. The hows and the whys. Here we can ask questions like did Homo luzonensis interbreed with other hominins? what happened to them and were they simply outcompeted when Homo sapiens arrived much later? To answer these questions, it will take more digging and only with the discovery of more ancient human remains on both Luzon and other Southeast Asian islands will the answers to some of these questions begin to be unraveled. Fifteen years ago, researchers had a very simplistic narrative of human evolution in Asia. But this discovery changes the situation 
and complicates the picture of hominin evolution in Asia. That is all guys. Thanks for watching and hope you liked the video. Do tell us what you thought of it in the comments section down below. For more related videos on human species, check our channel out and do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.